Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. And nobody. Actually, Brad went to go uh, switch the laundry around. He's doing some laundry, so it was time to put it in the dryer. So he'll be back in a few moments. He just walked right on over there. It's not that far. It's maybe about 50 yards or so. Anyway. It is a beautiful day out here in the neighborhood. It is June 4th, 2016. One month from today will be my birthday. Yes, July 4th. Fireworks, yes. Not planning anything for my birthday so far because I don't like to leave my dogs um, with, with fireworks because, you know, they're just terrified. So I plan on just kind of hunkering down, you know, maybe... If we have any money, maybe we'll go out to, to eat or something. Maybe, you know, after my birthday or something. That would be nice. We haven't been out to eat in a restaurant in you know, quite some time. So that would be nice. But anyway, it's way too far off. It is uh, Saturday. It is 10.29 a.m. No Nixie. She was thinking about going on a passenger seat. So I've got her kind of aggravated right now. I'm not sure what. Um, anyway, it is 78 degrees. The real fill temperature is 91 already. It's going to be a warm day. It's going to be a very warm day. Um, real, the high will be uh, 91 and the low will be 75. Um, we've already got our AC on high. Uh, everybody in this area is saying this is a very, very warm summer so far, you know, and it's just started, you know, uh, we didn't know because, you know, we're new here, but other people that have lived in this area for a long time are like, yeah, this is uncommonly warm, uh, you know, and it's like, well, we'd rather sweat than freeze, so, you know, we'll get used to it, we're doing okay with it, um, you know, it beats being, being frozen and cold all the time for us, uh, we do my cheat sheet, Yesterday, after we took naps, I didn't really take a nap because, I don't know, I just couldn't sleep, couldn't get comfortable stuff. I got up and I was, um, I don't know, just kind of feel farting around. Um, and, uh, uh, then Brad got up and we took the dog out and everything. And then, um, he, uh, our neighbor <coughs> on the other side of us, Carl, uh, He's a rough looking little man. Well, he's not little man, but you know. He's, but he's, you know, but he's, he's a hard worker. Uh, he installs um, elevators in homes. Um, I think probably up in the Tallahassee area. Uh, was a construction company. And anyway, uh, you know, he really likes us. He's who I baked a, gave a loaf of banana and that bread to. No, get down, Nixie. Come on. Come on, girlfriend. No, you will not do that. Come on, go, go, go. Go to bed. Come on, go. Go on, Nixie, go. But anyway, sorry about that. Um, uh, he and Brad talk quite a bit. He's harmless. He's kind of rough looking, you know, and he always has a beer in his hand when he's not at work and stuff. But uh, he's nice enough. He goes around here in a golf cart all the time. A lot of people do around here. Um, but anyway, he brought home... He got three pellets from uh, work. Can you turn that light on up there, babe? Uh, he got three pellets from work uh, and gave them to us. So Brad uh, used uh, parts of the bench that he had taken off and built a nice platform for uh, my wheelchair. Because that's why I sit in outside is this oversized wheelchair, which is very comfy for me. And he made a platform for himself. Thank you, honey. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> So, um, that was really nice. Uh, then I look outside because, see, I was sitting there. I needed to bite up a, a log of hamburger that we bought. And then I was um, cutting up potatoes to do oven fried potatoes in, in, in the uh, uh, convection oven part. You know, it's a toaster oven, rotisserie, the whole thing I'm talking about. Before. So, to do the potatoes. And um, I was going to tell him he had a timer set. When he was going to start hammer, and here he is, standing out there by our Jeep with neighbor from uh, Carl from one side, Mitch lives on the other side, and the men folk are off standing there talking. I thought maybe they were talking about Brad 
would build a neat platform. No, they were talking fishing. You know, uh, so he has plans in the future to go fishing with both of them. He's really enjoying it. We have some really nice neighbors around here. I mean, I wish I could I could meet some uh, friendly women like that, honey. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, and in time, perhaps. Um, that's the nice thing is if you don't like your neighbors, either you can move or else they'll probably move, you know, <laughs> in, a, in an RV. Yeah. It reminds me of that show Myrtle Manor, if anybody ever watched that. Yeah. Uh, that trailer court in uh, Florida, and this kind of reminds me of kind of a, a kind of that in a way. But anyway, um, so yeah, he was enjoying himself. So yeah, we cooked hamburgers out, and I made oven fried potatoes. Um, and then he uh, made it was a brownie cookie mix. You yeah. did the brownie part, and then you dropped the cookie part on top. It's okay. I mean, it's good what he did. I wouldn't buy the mix again. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, but, um, uh, and then I did some painting last night. I'm starting some of the small ones. Hey, do you know where that one is that I'm not done with that you said over there? Yeah. Um, this one I did paint and it will be listed here by this afternoon on Etsy. This is just a small three by five. And yes, I've signed the bottom of it. You'd have to get really close to see my initials. But I also always sign the back with my full signature, so, you know, and this is an original piece. This will be up on Etsy. I'm doing some of these that are not part of a collection, you know, not part of a set, because I know some of my friends had expressed interest in wanting to buy just, like, a small one, you know, which is less expensive and stuff, which I can't stand because times are hard, so I will be listing some of those, um... I'm working on this one, which is not finished yet by any means. Um, that will be finished sometime later today, and as well as some other ones. Um, so uh, that's what I'm working on there. Loom, I don't have anything on. Um, I did do. Um, I'm going to have something on it later, uh, but uh, I did do just for us this very very thick pot holder. Stretch it out a little bit more. Stretch, stretch. This way. If you ever don't think maybe your piece is long enough, you just need to kind of stretch it sometimes. And uh, you know, because these these will tighten up sometimes. So but anyway, it's a very nice thick, as you can tell, pot holder. Because uh, you know we seem to be kind of lacking in some. So um, I'm gonna toss that at my husband here. You can have it now. Okay, thank I told you. me you couldn't have it yet because I hadn't shown it to you guys. I had that done maybe a couple days ago. I was just sitting there watching some YouTube videos, and you know how you're so used to keeping your hand busy on my. So I just. That skein of, of yarn was sitting right by me, and the loom, and I thought, oh, I'll just make a pot holder. You know, um, anyway, today I plan on doing some more painting. Um, what else are our plans, honey? I, um, want to get that piece cut off. Well, you're going to cut off the, uh, inside wall of the bench, and then we're going to, you're probably going to sand it some and then paint the end of it or something, yeah. I'm not sure, and right? Then, uh, I want to vacuum today. Oh, oh, I have not told them. <clears throat> Do tell them. Your little surprise in the bathroom last night. I uh, had to use the little boys' room, and uh, I went down there about 11 o'clock at night, and it's nice because normally there's nobody there. And uh, with the men's room, there's two stalls and a urinal, and then there's three showers. And I go walking in, and there's this lady standing ready to jump in one of the showers, and she's naked. And uh, I, I think I, I think I interrupted something. So. Well, what did you hear her say though? I was like, "Oh crap, somebody's here," or yeah. something like that. And she just kind of gave me that deer in the headlights look. And then uh, she threw on like a night shirt, a mm-hmm. long shirt. She threw that on, and she and I said, "Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anything." Oh, that's okay. And I couldn't believe how fast she got dressed. 
and hauled butt out the door. The guy was still in the shower. He did not step out to save his his wife, girlfriend, whoever, or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they were gonna have them a little something something in the shower because they didn't think he may be coming in there. Yeah, well, yeah. You know. Not at eleven o'clock at night. You know, well, you you have to use the restroom, you know, anytime. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it's why not, they're not shut down. It's not on a calendar. He and I'm sitting here painting. I have my MP3 player going, which he found, which I still love him to death for. Um, and uh, you know, I always have my headphones on. Uh. And I was painting and stuff, and he's standing there in front of me, just like a little kid. And I thought, what could be so exciting about you having to go down and use the restroom? And he's like, get what, get what, get what. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know who hey. was more surprised, me or, me or her. It's just like you could just about write a book about how this, some of the stuff goes on in this RV. Uh, well, and then I told park. you when uh, I was coming back from doing laundry. They were driving off in the truck, and uh, she wouldn't look at me. Neither one of them would yeah, look at me. Yeah, they wouldn't look at me. Yeah. But, yeah, that was uh, not something you see every day. No, no. It was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that was a highlight of his night, man. <laughs> so, no, seeing you, sweetie, is a highlight of my day on why are you such a flirter with me? Because I love you. Really? You're stuck with me. Like a booger on my finger. Like a booger on your finger. You're, you're, they're, they're, they're. La, 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 la. Oh yeah, make fun of my stutter. I'm not making fun of your stutter. I'm really not, guys. Because I'm going to get people commenting now about how I shouldn't make I'm just teasing him nicely. Sometimes he makes fun of my hearing impairment. Huh? Huh? <laughs> if you love somebody, you can get away with a little bit more than. Yeah. No, I I don't mean he doesn't. He only ever and he's always stuttered all of his life. Um, he only does it though if he's very tired or very upset. So you know, and I probably he's a lot more self-conscious of it than anybody else is. Most people would never even think that you have a stuttering problem. I know. You know. So, yeah, you know, but like I said, especially if you're really tired, not feeling good, or upset about something, you know, but, um, yeah, no, no, and like if you're doing announcements or, or anything like that, you know, to be played over a, a PA system or anything, you know, like a, re what do they call that, a repeater? Yeah, it was a message repeater. Um, he doesn't, you know, stutter at all, you know. So, well, remember, wasn't it Mel T Tillis? Uh -huh. Remember, you guys remember Mel Tillis and how he was stuttered so badly on Hee Haw. But the minute he started singing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, um. So, no hate mail, please. No hate mail. I'm just teasing him. He knows that. Yeah. I wasn't really making fun of him. He's just trying to get me in trouble. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't do that. We know how the bad man is. I don't know what our plans are because he's made friend, plans with his little friends here in the park. You, you know, you let your kids out to play and they, you know, as long as you're, you know, I can call you whenever. <laughs> no. Um, I think he's going to help our next door neighbor uh, later uh, put in their window air conditioning because their, their main air conditioning on, on their rooftop went out some time ago and they have a smaller one but it's not really cutting it with the heat so they're going to put another window unit in so Brad said he would help uh, help him because you know it's really hard to stand outside and hold that and then have somebody inside trying to put the wood and stuff and also I don't know if Mitch has uh, woodworking uh, uh, saws and everything made yeah. to, to cut the, that wood yeah, that is very true. You know, so, yeah, uh, you know, you know, you guys might be able to use even some of the pieces off of the, off of our bench to, yeah. you know. Yep, that'd be very true. Yeah, so, anyway, if I'm going to help him, they might go fishing, they might not, I don't know, it's awful hot out, uh, so they'll have to decide that. I just, like I said, I plan on, um, uh, 
folding laundry when it comes comes back. That's that's my job. Yep. And um, putting it away and probably gonna do some cleaning in here. Um, you know my cleaning. Uh, uh, Not Brad cleaning. Well, no, we both have kind of uh, where we've designated, you know, I have my, like you do in any house, I have my chores, and, and the other person might have different chores, you know, does have different chores, so um, I'm not I, I'm not saying he has to do his chores today, I'm just saying today I'm doing my, my cleaning chores, you know, when he decides to do his is when he decides to do them. Um, you know, and we both have our little areas of little quirks yeah you know because i'm i get there's certain things that i get a little more anally retentive about right than you do and vice versa right i mean like um me with with um like bathrooms. he doesn't do bathrooms <laughs> the man does not do bathrooms no. which is fine um you know i don't particularly like to clean the kitchen now this area is small enough it's not really a problem but you know, full size kitchen. I just it's monotonous and it takes. Um, well, remember when we first started seeing each other? I was proud of how clean my bathroom was, uh, and, and you didn't say a word, but I could tell now it that I went back horrible. on your face. It was. Yeah. I mean, it, it was, I've seen worse, but yeah. But I was proud of myself. I thought I had it clean. That's one of the things I'm I'm picky about is is. Is like the, especially the commode and stuff. I never understand people that will take a shower in a filthy bathroom because don't you want where where when you get done showering to that place to be you know the bathroom to be clean so you can you know not get dirty again? I don't know. It's just me. I know it probably doesn't make any sense. It's just one of those weird things about me, right, honey? Yes, sweetie. You know, and so it's like okay, confession time. What do I have an OCD about that you tease me about all the time? Which one? It's silverware. Silverware. It has to be just the right fork. It has to be just the right spoon. The knives I'm not nearly as picky about. I really don't care about the plates. I'm not that picky about the cups, but the silverware. <clears throat> I don't like certain spoons. You know, I like a, a, a deeper spoon. <laughs> I like it a little bit of a heavier spoon. I don't like it where the spoon is almost flat. You know, so it's like a, a what I have to laugh about is there's been several times where <laughs> I brought you brought you dinner. Yeah. Or something. And I get that look that I know says that silverware is unacceptable. Oh, I usually just tell you I don't like that. <laughs> And, you know, so he'll bring me, he'll hand me a spoon. I mean, when we bring me, we talk about bring me, we're talking maybe five feet from each other, right? So it doesn't make sense for me to stand in the kitchen area and be in his way, vice versa. No. But I'll be like, I don't like that spoon. He'll grab another one. Don't like that spoon. He'll grab another one. Then he'll just grab the whole basket of silverware and hand it to me. <laughs> But yeah, that's my OCD. Yes. I won't. I won't. I won't tell you, Brad, because I'm not at deliberate liberty to discuss. That would be up to him. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, it's all about you. What? You want me to tell them? Go ahead. No. Okay. No, but someday if you want to share that thing, you can. No. No, he doesn't want to share it, and I. That's fine. You know. It, it, it's telling somebody one of your your uh, quirks or OCDs, whatever, is totally up to that person. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to do some cleaning, some painting. Um, and uh, we're going to make chicken tonight for dinner. I don't know what we're having for lunch. Um, Probably Sammy's. I'm getting tired of Sammy's. Okay. I think about making a, we can make a tuna fish salad and have it on cracker. That works. Yeah. You know? well, I was going to eat the rest of those potatoes. Who said? I did. See how he is? I, I ruled. I ruled the roost. Oh, please. You must be in the wrong RV. Go on down a couple, okay? I don't know. The dogs are doing much, much better, I want to tell everybody. Um. 
you, you know, we weren't really that worried about them, but we felt bad for them because even this move was a hard adjustment for, for them also. They were used to a large yard, and it was fenced off that they could run and everything, and then we move here, and they're being taken out on, on leashes and stuff. And and um, before, we, before Brad took the benches out and stuff, there wasn't as much room. So, you know, I mean... Poor Charlie, I get out his rope his, that he plays with, and he just kind of looked at me and dropped it, like, before the bench was out, like, there's no room to play, Mom. They're all settled down. They know that they're not getting taken somewhere, because they're all rescue dogs, except for the little dachshund who, you know, who was given to me, because she was, it was one of those oop things from a breed, a cross between a dachshund and a shelty. So, um, but anyway, uh, and she's got, she's got the badass attitude of a dachshund and mm-hmm. the smarts of a shelter. Yeah. I really Makes it horrible. That's a good comment. Yeah. So. Oh, she's my love bug though. Yes, she is. But anyway, um, I think they might've been afraid that they were going to get, get dropped off somewhere. Now they know they're not. They're used to this, the routine. They're back to playing and being happy and, they you know. stuck with us. Yep. Yeah. All of that. So, um, that's all we got going on. You know, we can we tend to look, lay low here in the RV park and just watch these people that come in for the weekend because they're darn entertaining. Yes, they are. You know, you know, I mean, they can be quite entertaining. Yes, they can be. I might have a, a chance, a friend of mine has offered me her used um, motorized wheelchair. Uh, we just got to find a way to get it from North Carolina to here. So if anybody has any brilliant ideas, I wouldn't be able to do it till the 1st of July anyway. We just don't have the fun. But, um, so let me know if you have any ideas. It would be a great birthday present to be able to get that here. My husband and I were just talking about that last night, about how nice it would be if I had a um, motorized wheelchair or a scooter, you know. Uh, this is the hover around, because um, uh, she just got a new one. Uh, how great it would be to have it, yeah. have something like that, because I could even use it here in the RV park, or there's a lot of places that really are not able to go. Uh, the arthritis isn't going to just go away. Um, I'm feeling much better, though. Uh the breathing is, is uh, pretty much back to normal now. The joint pain is under control. Um, as long as I keep on top top of taking me a leave. Or not the leave, I don't know. The time. Stay away from leave. Yeah, stay away from your leave. Um, the effects are healing up. I'm still taking me augment. And of course, that's all healing up. I'll just sit here and stare at Brad because, you know. You're just going to be perfect here pretty soon. Oh, please. I'm never going to be perfect. No. Closer to it than I am. I uh, know. No, you're a wonderful man. Okay. It's all an act. It's all an act? Yeah. I told you, <laughs> one of these days you're going to discover the real me. I waited. You know, I didn't really believe that you really loved me for the first 20 years we were married. And I know you guys are like, What? Well, okay, you know, I come from a very abusive past uh, growing up and in my first marriage, and I'm not used to people actually being who they say they are and being genuine. He's the first person ever. He's first, he, he taught me what it's like to be loved. I mean, my grandmother loved me and stuff, but, you know, as you age and, uh, you know, uh, when somebody gets put on oxygen, you know, she had had a brain tumor and stuff, a lot of times it changes. Um, it's almost like a brain injury sometimes, you know, when you're oxygen deprived. She became quite mean as she got older and stuff. Uh, but anyway, I know she did love me, but my husband's the one that taught me what it's really like to be loved. But it took a long time for me to really, really believe that he wasn't going to overnight change and become a blooming jerk. He's a dork, but not a blooming jerk. Right? What do you guys got planned? <laughs> Anything fun? Anything fun, fun, fun? Like I said, I'd like to find a way to get that um, electric wheelchair here. 
if possible. I'm going to pray on it. And we got a um, couple feelers out to a couple people or to a person that we know might have a few ideas. And then um, uh, I like to go out to eat somewhere around my birthday, not on my birthday. Because my birthday is on a Monday, not even the weekend before, because it would just be crazy. Well, you know, and that's what I always thought it would be cool to have your birthday on a holiday. Mm -hmm. But it sucks because you really can't do anything because yeah. the rest of the world is out doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, so trying to find something special to do on your birthday is. Well, there, I mean, there is like Soft Choppy's having a big celebration for the 4th of July. Okay. They've got a bunch of bands coming in and all of that and fireworks, but I don't want to leave the dogs all day. Yeah. And if this park is going to be really full and be. stuff, and if people are going to shoot off fireworks like they were on Memorial Day, yeah. these dogs, we already have it planned out a half hour before it gets dark. We're going to give all three dogs because the, the beagle doesn't affect her. <laughs> But the other three, we're going to give them a half hour before it's dark, some melatonin. So it's in place because they just get terrified on these fireworks and stuff. So, you know. Anyway, you got anything else to say? This is running long. No, sweetie. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to you. I love you guys. And cherish your friendship. And I hope you're having a terrific weekend. And I think you're awesome. We will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.